Hello to everyone. Welcome to Everyday's Wisdom from the Gospels. This is your pastor, Yeti. I hope all is well with all of you and find some peace and rest for some, as I said yesterday, in their vacation. For some who still have to work and have a later vacation. Or whatever it is that your life involves, may it be that it's a life that you see things that can be changed and don't find necessary the right instructions, guidance. Let me say this. Most of the things don't change or happen overnight. What the day takes with him through the night, it gives a new possibility to take things on where you left off and build on. And so and so. Life is precious. Life is worthwhile living. And remember, we cannot take it all for granted. There's so many people. You cannot even speak of having a life. And so, let us be, think about all this with a passionate heart, a thankful heart, and a prayerful heart, heart that as we walk each day, maybe in our comfort zone, think about those who there is not even a comfort zone. And I'm not going to take you in depression, but just to focus. As Christians, it can be a very wealthy, and I'm not against all that, a very middle class, a very more lower life, but also a life of a lot of suffering. And all in that in between, there is our Christ, our Christ to unfold himself day by day. Before we move on, I will say this. You are chosen. You are blessed. You are loved with an everlasting love. And make you that difference in your life, but also in the life of another person. He departed from there by boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the multitude heard it, they followed him on foot from the cities. Matthew 14, 13. From the beginning of our Lord's public ministry, great crowds of people followed him. And there were times when he had to get away from the crowd. There are at least eight occasions on which Jesus left the crowds and went off alone or with his disciples. After he was baptized, Matthew 3:13, 4 verse 11. After a busy day of ministry, Mark 1:32 to 35. After healing a leper, Mark 140-45. After death of John the Baptist, Matthew 14, 1-13. After feeding the 5,000, John 6, 1-15. Before calling on the 12 apostles, Luke 6, 12-16. After the apostles' report, on their ministry, Mark 6, 30 and 32. Before his suffering and death, 
Matthew 26, 36 to 45. Our Lord, our Lord's baptism was a signal that his ministry had begun. The Father spoke words of approval and encouragement, and the Spirit endowed him with power. But then, the Spirit drove Jesus in the wilderness, where he fasted for 40 days and encountered and defeated the devil. Our high and holy hours of spiritual enrichment must be balanced with dark days of sacrifice and conflict. After a busy evening of healing in Capernaum, Jesus had a short night of sleep and then arose very early to pray and prepare for another busy day. We must begin each day spending time alone with God. Isaiah 40, 31 and 50, verses 4 to 7. Jesus healed the leper and told him not to tell others, but the man told everybody about Jesus. Jesus instructs us to tell everybody and we say nothing. Jesus had to go to a deserted place, but the crowds found him anyway. Jesus was a servant, not a celebrity. He knew the motives in the hearts of people mobbing him. When we feel successful, it's time to get along with God. The death of John the Baptist must have moved Jesus deeply, and he went away alone to mourn. After all, his own death was also on the schedule. God's people are human and need to work their way through sorrow and pain. Jesus prayed alone all night before choosing his 12 apostles. Luke 6, 12-16 And at crisis experiences in our lives, we need to spend extra time seeking the Father's will. When the apostles returned to report on their itinerant ministry, Jesus took them to a deserted place so they could rest and be spiritually refreshed. If we don't come apart and rest, we will just come apart. There are times when taking a day off or a vacation or even a brief nap might be the most spiritual thing we can do. Our Lord's experience in Gethsemane before his arrest prepared him for the agonies of trials, the mockery the wipings, and then the crucifixion. We can never fully experience the suffering he endured, but we can follow the example of his surrender in the garden. Jesus took the cup of sacrifice and drank it, saying, Not my will, but your will be done. Every dedicated child of God has got Semani as experience and can find victory in prayer and submission. In the difficult challenges of the Christian life, we must not try to escape, as did David, Psalm 55, verse 6, and Jeremiah, Jeremiah 9, verse 2. We leave the crowd that we may return to the crowd with new strength for ministry. The most important parts of the Christian life is the part that only God sees, our times alone with Him. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run 
and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31 If we don't experience difficult times, which I do believe everyone has, if we don't feel that our life needs to move on in another direction, ask yourself the question, where are you? If we come to Christ, it means it's Christ your life in every part of it. And you maybe can say, well, it's easier for those who have a lot of money. Well, maybe. Or have a bigger house. Or, and or, or, and but, but. But or and but are fighting constantly with each other. We need to face our own life, our own territory, our own family issues, and then see how to deal with it, as Jesus did. Jesus saw the crowd. He became so compassionate in his heart, and then he sat down and started ministry to them. Then he saw the crowd, and he left because he had to. And so it is with us. We have to learn to say no. Because that is when we need our time. For our strength. For our healing. And it's not running away. So let Jesus instruct you. And let the Spirit of God guide you. With your path. With your family. With your church with your friends and with your ministry. This is how we make a difference in the world and to reach out. Or to step back and find rest for new energy. So we our God bless you and protect you and may he keep you from all harm and may his light shine upon you and keep you safe have a blessed day this is your pastor yadi bye bye